have breaking news this evening on the MBTA's plan to fix the T. And this is big. It involves shutting down two Green Line routes for a month each. WBZ's Bill Shields is live for us in Brookline tonight with the very latest. Bill? Dave, you know, the governor and the T have been talking for a while about upgrading things. Well, here's the Green Line. Well, there was the Green Line. There goes another train. If you ride the Green Line from Kenmore Square out of here to Coolidge Corner, don't be looking for it in July. It's not going to be running. But it's not just because they're going to shut it down. They're going to actually fix it properly. To build a better tee that is safer, faster, and more reliable for riders. It seems the tee and Governor Baker have decided to speed up repairs. But in the process, the Green Line is going to be shut down on two branches for a time this summer. The C Line from Kenmore to Cleveland Circle will close in July. And the E-Line from the Peru to Heath Street will shut down in August. Fixing the MBTA at our previous pace was not good enough. We needed to build a better T, and we needed to do it faster. The governor has promised to make improving the T one of his priorities. And with work on the Green Line coming to a head this summer, there will be headaches, but the work will be done by September instead of three years from now. And after decades of neglect, we're busy investing over $8 billion to upgrade, modernize, and increase capacity on the system over five years and are doing everything the people can to speed that up safely. Why July and August? Well, obviously, there's fewer riders. The students are not around, so that's actually the best time for them to do it. And as you heard the governor and the general manager say, this is a speeding up process, a serious speeding up process. But this isn't the only work they're going to be doing for the next several years, possibly about eight. Be looking for a lot of changes, a lot of work on the entire system. Reporting live from Brookline, I'm Bill Shields, WBC News. All right.